It's live. It says we have action. So hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's Wednesday Wisdom. Uh, changing it up again a little bit. Uh, just wanted to uh, wish you all well and glad that you know, you're here to spend some time with me today. I'm just going to pull up this little ticker tape here. Where are we? Show it. There we go. So what do you want? Uh, what, what, bleh. <laughs> do you want to know what's in my closet? My goodness, I can't even speak. I'm all tongue-tied. If you want to jump in in the conversation, if you want to participate and sit in the background, that's okay too. Up above is a link. It says StreamYard. And if you want to participate in the conversation, you just have to give it permission so that I can see your little profile picture pop up on the screen and then I know who I'm having a conversation with. So do you want to know what's in my closet? I'm going to share a few, um, or pass along a few uh, little suggestions from a book that I was reading over the summer by Deb Danowski. And it's about, um, about food addiction eaters and th those kinds of things. So hello, Patricia, lovely to see you here this evening. Thank you very much. Um, so it's a little bit of a book um, from her book, some takeaways from her book, and I'm just going to pass them along to you as well. So what do you think is in my closet? Do you have any ideas? So only having one size of clothing in your clo closet can keep you honest. So right now with a bunch of us not being able to leave the home because of all the stuff that's going on, it might be a good time to uh, evaluate and see what what fits and what doesn't fit and what maybe you haven't worn in a really long time. And I know a few of us have put on a few extra pounds over over uh, not being maybe as active as we have usually been. And um, so that's that's something that we need to think about. And, and uh, like I said, maybe you have that swimsuit that you tucked away in a drawer somewhere that you bought and you thought, well, I'm going to fit into this so that I can go on that winter holiday and now we're stuck at home we can't go anywhere and hello emma thank you for popping in here my friend i appreciate it so emma's here too and see how her little profile picture popped up so if you want to participate like they are like i said by all means just give uh, Streamyard permission if you have never been here before so like i said right now is a really good time to evaluate what we have in our wardrobe in our drawers in our closets so um, maybe go and pick up some boxes from somewhere and um, start going through what you have so make piles uh, a save pile a giveaway pile and um, uh, a pile to maybe give to some friends or, or somebody in need so that's a really good way to start so we can we can um, if you save the larger ones in your closet, then you might think, well, I'm saving them because I think I'm going to get that big again. So <clears throat> that's not necessarily a good thing to keep in your brain. That you don't you don't feel that you're going to stick to your plan or to your to read your regime of exercise. And I know a lot of people made a lot of uh, New Year's resolutions here a few weeks ago, and they've already kicked those to the curb. They've already fallen off the wagon for that. <clears throat> so if you want to keep on track and stuff like that, Get rid of some of those clothes that are bigger that you said that, oh, I'm going to fit back into those again and, and look at some maybe some of the smaller sizes. And it doesn't matter what size anybody is. It, I'm not saying you have to be a certain size or shape, certain shape or any of that. It's whatever you feel comfortable in your skin and, and however you are the healthiest. So before we go any further, this is my website, website here, heatheredmondson.com. You can go check that out if you want to. And... Um, Welcome to my community, where I try and create a healthier you through coaching, mentorship, and accountability. Like I said, my name is Heather Edmondson, and I am here to assist you the best way I can. Um, I am uh, into fitness and health, and I just want to pass along some of that information to you. So get you, keep you on track, and let's kick those sugar cravings to the curb and get you in the best shape that you can be for coming up here to beach weather, hopefully in the summer, in a few months. So <clears throat> keep that in the back of your mind. So. Um, when we look at stuff in our closet or in our drawers, we say, oh, but I spent so much money on that, that one outfit. How could I ever get rid of it? Or how could I ever pass it along to somebody else that might need it? And yes, it's a hard, a hard um, subject. Um, right now I have a whole closet full of scrubs. I don't have a lot of um, real dress up clothes because I don't have to wear that for work. So my wardrobe is mostly scrubs. And then I have jeans and, and stuff like that for when we go to the lake or, or just for, um, being around home kind of thing so I don't have a lot of dress up clothes but for somebody that's maybe worked in an office and maybe can't go back to an office space and they have all these real expensive dresses and skirts and jackets and all that stuff maybe they need to reevaluate and maybe they can pass that along to somebody that maybe is going to 
go for a job interview and needs a nice jacket or a nice um, blazer or a nice pair of slacks. Um, there's all kinds of, um, um, what do you call them, charities out there that look for, for items of clothing like that for, for somebody that's starting out and maybe doesn't have any um, extra cash around that they can afford to buy a nice outfit to go for an interview. So that's uh, that's a possibility that you can keep in the back of your mind that maybe you could pass on some of your stuff to something like that. So um, how about, like I said, some of the other charities that are out there that you want to maybe donate to, to uh, then maybe a women's shelter where where um, people leave their homes in the last minute and they can't take maybe a whole bunch of things with you. Like I have closets full of stuff. Now that my kids have moved out, I've kind of moved into another closet down here and I've got more um, dressier clothes that I used to wear when we go on cruises. Well, we can't do that right now. And they're just sitting there. Um, am I ever gonna wear them again? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to go on a cruise ship again. That's kind of a scary thought right now. So, I mean, we really need to evaluate, are we really using half of this stuff that we have in our drawers? I know I wash the same same t-shirts and underwears and socks, and I end up taking the same ones off the top of the pile, and they never get to the bottom of the drawer even. So maybe I should go through some of that as well and, and get, get rid of some of the ones that, you know, aren't being used or or don't fit properly anymore. But where I'm going going to with this is is, um, maybe we should think about more of a minimalistic lifestyle. Do, like I said, do we really need all of these things? They're just stuff. Do we really need that, um, like I said, that swimsuit in the back of the drawer or in the back of the closet that maybe you bought when you were um, thinking that you were going to be quite a bit smaller size? And is that a realistic expectation for yourself even? And if it isn't, then just looking at it, is that a sore spot? So you have to evaluate, is this a good thing to keep there to kind of challenge me to see if I can um, be like, become that size? Or is it more of a, a heartache by looking at it saying, well, I'm never going to be able to do this. This is just unrealistic and it's not doable. So we have to shift our mind a little bit and figure out, like I said, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Is it like that that devil, angel and devil on either, either shoulder? Is one going to nag at you or, or is one going to be a positive, a positive and a negative kind of thing? So... Um, do you feel shame when you look at that piece of article of clothing, whatever it is? Maybe it's some shorty shorts or something. And maybe it's, like I said, that bathing suit. Maybe it's um, even just a tank top because you don't maybe like how your how your arms look at look like. Oh, and we got some more company here. Hello, Brady. Lovely to see you too, my friend. Thanks for popping in here. Um, <clears throat> so everybody is popping in here. That's wonderful. So. Like I said, is is that more is that item of clothing that you maybe have in your drawer or in your in your closet? Is it more about a shameful feeling, or are you feeling negative thoughts about it, or are you feeling positive thoughts about it? If you're feeling positive thoughts about it, and you say, "Okay, I'm going to be able to fit into that size bathing suit or or tank top or whatever it is," then let's make a plan and let's get to it and let's figure this out. How we're going to do it? Are we going to change our diet? Are we going to change our fitness routine? Are we going to change maybe even just the people that we associate with? Because they said the first five people that are closest to you that you surround yourself with, you absorb their energy. And so if you're around negative people, is that going to bring you down too? And then you're going to think, well, I'm not worthy of, of wearing whatever that was. So these are just a few um, suggestions that I'm, like I said, passing out there that that um, <clears throat> that, that maybe you can pass along to, to your team or to your family or whatever. So... What I'd like you to do is to take everything out of your closet if you have time. If I took everything out of my closet, I'd have no bed to sleep in. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> but um, If you can take everything out of your closet and go through it one item at a time, okay, I'm going to keep this, I'm going to donate this, and I'm going to throw this one away because, you know, the zipper's broken or there's a hole in the sweater or whatever it is. And I know don't freak out and, and have a meltdown, but maybe you could paint the inside of your closet while you're doing that too. Got, like I said, we've well, got a bit of time <clears throat> in our lives right now, um, <clears throat> quite a few people. So before you put all those articles of clothing back or or maybe if, if the closet is too big of a picture to do all at once, maybe just take one drawer at a time in your in your dresser and say, okay, one drawer is very doable. I can dump that out on my bed and I can go through the items in there and I can organize it all nice and 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 those kinds of things so so like i said maybe the the closet is too big of a project i mean depending on how big your closet is but <clears throat> cleaning and organizing right now it, it helps to um, calm your mind because if everything is in chaos around you surrounding you um 
and you're looking at, okay, there's a mess over there, there's, there's a mess over there, there's a mess over there, then it just makes your mind, it's pulling your mind in all kinds of different directions. So if you can kind of organize some of those things and, and like I said, either donate, keep, or give away, uh, or throw away, I mean, uh, <clears throat> maybe you'll have uh, a better feeling about yourself. Maybe it'll make you feel better to, to get rid of some of those things that you don't really need. <clears throat> like I said, donate to, a, to somebody maybe that, <clears throat> pardon me, I've got a tickle in my throat. My husband made steak and he soaked it in beer and now it's <clears throat> now it's giving me a tickle in my throat but the alcohol all burnt off when he cooked it so, <laughs> so it's, it's all okay <clears throat> so uh, like I said a pile to keep a pile to donate and a pile to dis discard so um, over the next week let's go through like I said pick pick maybe a drawer and go through your drawer because maybe the closet's too big of a deal like I said if I pulled everything out of my closet it would just annoy me right now because I, I have to work every day and I don't have time to go through it all. So maybe that's not a good decision. But before you move on with that, with ever that whatever that project is, I challenge you to go through maybe one drawer, either in your kitchen or your office or, like I said, in your bedroom and get rid of some of those things that aren't serving you anymore. Maybe they can help out somebody else that maybe doesn't have as much as you have and that you can be grateful for all of the things that you do have. So um, you may end up with only a small pile of things that, that fit right now or that you're expecting to fit into. And then maybe it's an excuse to go and buy yourself that new, uh, the workout outfit that I saw the other day that I really, really want. Like the one that you had on today, Brady, with the leopard print. I mean, that's, that's awesome. So maybe you could go buy yourself a treat. But like I said, get rid of some of that stuff that's not serving you. Maybe you can pass it on to somebody that it would serve them better than it would serve you. Like I said, maybe it's um, you work in an office space and you used to work in an office space and you have all these uh, really fancy dressy clothes and maybe it could go towards somebody that is going to go for a job interview and maybe doesn't have um, something like that, a blazer or something like that, that they would need to maybe go for that interview. So if we de declutter our space around us, we declutter our minds, we can just take a deep breath and we can meditate and feel better about ourselves because we've gotten rid of all that stuff and we made a nice environment for ourselves to to expand in so how about reevaluating your um your environment and and like i said maybe you could pick out a new outfit for yourself so treat yourself better be kind to yourself uh, we all deserve more in life so enjoy each and every moment so and the little tagline that i put up the little notification that i put up for today was um where focus grows where focus goes energy flows so hopefully that's a little bit of a takeaway that you can have for today. And we will have a special guest coming on next Wednesday. So I'll be coming on a little bit earlier. And I'm going to try and have a guest every week moving forward from here. So that, that's always an exciting thing. Um, if you want any uh, recipes, um, healthy recipes, I can pass those along to you as well. I have some PDFs if that's something you're interested in. And uh, hit me up if you want any more information about stuff. So. We'll catch you all tomorrow on my other page, on my business page. Thanks, everybody, for popping in here live. And for anybody that's popping in here on the replay, do let me know where it is that you're coming in from. And I will give you a shout-out after the fact. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.